Salut les 7 et bienvenue au Corpor aujourd'hui. Alors, let me tell you what we're going to do today, guys. We can take off our first objective because we can say or us in our towns and give opinions. And last lesson, we did some reading about four different whoops, French towns, and it was great. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a bit more complex. We're going to say where things are using prepositions. So prepositions are words like in front of, behind, next to. It's going to be a fun lesson this. Now these words are really, really important. They come up so much. They are a year seven must know. So this lesson is of big importance to us. Let's see what you can do before we get going. Alors mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Dans vos cahiers bleus, s'il vous plaît, inventez le date. Copiez le titre qui est U et qui veut dire where is en anglais et puis mettez-moi ce pause et faire le contrôle de post-it comment dire les six choses ici en français comment dire there is there isn't any in my town and then four five and six we've got some classics alors mettez-moi ce pause essayez de traduire les phrases et recommencez le vidéo quand tu es prêt pour mieux en pause now on y va Hello, mes petits. If you listen to me now, then you've got the date and title in your book, and you're ready for our answers for the contrôle de post-it. So let's get going to Le Mans. Today, we're using these prepositions to say where things are in town. So it's words like in front of, behind, next to, opposite, and how to test what you're going to do. We're going to have a bit of a warm up, right, to see what you know or see what you can work out already. Then we're going to learn some new language. We're going to learn these words really well because your objective or the outcome today, what we're going to do to test you is you're going to be completing a map. I'm going to give you like a blanked out map. And using our new words, you're going to have to work out which shop goes. It's going to be really tough, but it's going to be good. This is what it's all about today. This links into our GCSE, yeah, because at GCSE and the speaking exam, you've got the role play. So for your extra challenge, we'll be looking at some key GCSE language we use, which are called fillers. So ways to make you sound more French and natural when you're describing things. You'll really like them. So. All of that is coming up today, but first, our contrôle de post-it. Some of these are fairly new, some of these are classic. Let's see what we've got. So there is, is, think of the ninja man. Il y a, there isn't, il n'y a pas de. Love those two words. In my town, c'est dans ma ville. Voilà, all right. These three are classics. I like playing, c'est j'aime jouer. Remember, if you've got two verbs together, our first verb, ch 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 and it follows a pa pa but our second one is an infinitive. You keep the ER in the end because it means to play or playing. Alors, numéro 5. I'm 12 years old. You don't say that in French. You say, I have 12 years. How do you say it? J'ai 12 ans. Voilà. And then she is not. So this is our verb that we're using today, the verb être, to be. So je suis, I am. Elle est, she is. So she isn't, is. Elle n'est pas. Guys, if you got number six, you've done it really, really well. I'm very impressed with that. If you didn't, we're going to revise this verb today. But first, before we get revising and looking at new language, I want to see what you know and what you can work out using your French skill. Donc, allons mes petits. Donc, let's see what you know before we throw some new vocabulary at you. Now, all of the vocab here, you've never seen before. You might have seen one or two of them. So, Today's target is six. If you get under six, that's fine. You've not seen this vocab before. This is just a really good way to test you and see what you can do. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Je vais expliquer en français. Alors, donc, ici, dans la boîte bleue, vous avez tout le vocabulaire en français. Excusez-moi, monsieur, madame, mademoiselle. Et ici, dans la boîte rouge, vous avez le même vocabulaire, mais en anglais. Alors, mes petits, il faut trouver la paire entre le français et l'anglais, vous avez deux minutes à faire ça. Donc, sur les portables, on your phones, mettez un minuteur pour deux minutes. Put a, like a stopwatch for two minutes. Et quand c'est fini, recommencez la vidéo. Et si tu finis tôt, j'ai oublié, il y a un défi additionnel ici. En utilisant les mots que tu viens de trouver la paire d'eux, il faut traduire la phrase ici en français. Alors mes petits, bon courage, put me on pause for two minutes, see what you can do. Alors, 3, 2, 1, allez! 
Hey voilà mes petits, if you're listening to me now, you've matched up these as best as you can and you're ready for our answers. Six today, n'oubliez pas, six is our target and six will be good because you've not been taught this language yet. Let's see what we can do. Alors, numéro un, disait, excusez-moi, qui veut dire en anglais, i. Excuse me. Now, this is a key word that you'll need when you go to France. You're going to say excuse me to someone, to a waiter maybe to get their attention, to someone to ask for directions or to ask where something is. Excusez-moi is a really good phrase to know. Hello, and you'll need this word as well. Monsieur, madame, mademoiselle, qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est J, sir, miss, or madam and miss. So, remember in, in English, you can say like, excuse me, mate, and that's absolutely fine. But in French, they don't do that. It's a more formal language. You're more polite to people when you speak. So in France, it's not like not a normal to call someone sir, madam, or miss. So you need to use them. So if you want to say, excuse me, sir, excusez-moi, monsieur, excusez-moi, madame, that's how they'll say it in French. Okay, first two down, six is our target. Numéro trois et numéro quatre. Quelle est la différence entre U et et U sont. Alors, donc, je vais dans les deux possibilités. Le premier, where are, et la deuxième possibilité, c'est ca. Where is. Alors, so which is which. Which word means is, and which means are. So if you're stuck, how do you say it is? How do you say they are? So it is is c. They are a ce sont. So u est is where it is, and u sont Oh, where are? Voila, All right, guys. Well done if you got those. We're up to four. Remember, six in total will be a good mark. This next one, it looks crazy, but when you hear me say it, you'll know what it is. It is, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, veut dire de. It's how you say please. This is how you spell it. Alors, numéro six et numéro sept, ce sont similaires. The clue is our dot, 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 which we've got here and here. Hopefully that helped you out. So, Bon, bon means yeah, um, and then alors means so, or well then, so bon, bon, French people use this all the time, like you do, yeah, um, what I think, yeah, um, this is the, the French version, alors, bon, uh, bon, alors, they use it all the time, so they're really good words to use, we're going to look at these today, there are extra challenge words, they're fillers to make you sound more French and authentic, or, or, or authentique, as you'd say in French, alors, numéro 8, je ne suis pas sûr, I like this, because it's so similar to the English, it means, uh, I'm not sure. So if someone asks you where something is, in French you can say, mm, bon, bon. Alors, je, je ne suis pas sûr. I'm not sure. Or I'm not certain. It's a really good phrase. All right. Numéro 9. Almost there. Je pense que c'est. We've seen this before. It means F. I think that it's. If someone asks you where's the bank, you can say, mm, bon, bon, alors. Je pense que c'est près du cinéma, mais je ne suis pas sûr. C'est a really good phrase. All right. 10 et 11. You had to find the pair, but also I wanted you to complete them. Have you had a go at these two? They're really tough. Numéro 10, c'est j'aime y aller parce que, which means I like going there because. And our last one is nous aimons jouer, which is we like playing, which is revising our verb changes. Right, guys. Give yourself a mark out of how many you've done. I'd be really impressed with six for the extra challenge. Let's break it down into bonus marks. Excuse me, miss, will be one mark. Where's the shopping centre, please? There's another. We love doing shopping. No one's going to get that. Right, three marks for the extra challenge. And voila, here it is. So, excusez-moi, mademoiselle. It's how you say, excuse me, miss. Où est le centre commercial, s'il vous plaît? Where's the shopping centre, please? Nous aimons faire du shopping. We like, I've changed the verb, fair, the verb to do, do shopping. Guys, if you got that, you've done really well. Three possible marks there. That is top quality French. Allons mes petits. So, this is some of our language today that you've managed to match up. Six or more is a fantastic effort. If you've got under six, don't worry, that is fine today for this. We're going to be learning these phrases today. What I want to do now is have a close look at some of the language here. So we'll start with what I've already talked about, bon, bon, and alors. Let's have a look at our extra challenge and the verb être. Alors mes petits, right guys, three key things to look at today. We're going to be looking at a verb of the week, which is our verb to be. Uh, we're going to be talking about the type of verb it is, and we're also going to have a quick look at our extra challenge and fillers. Alors.
Mes petits. This is our verb of the week this week. We've seen it before. We've described ourselves. Je suis grand, uh, beau et très intelligent, for example, describes me. This is our verb to be. And today we're using it in these key phrases. So, u et means where is, and u sont means where are, and it comes from this, c'est is it is, and ce sont is like they are. You'll need to use these today, because we're going to be asking where things are in town, and you're going to have to say whereabouts it is. So these are our four keywords, and they all come from our verb être. Right guys, the other thing we need to look at is our extra challenge, which is our fillers. Now, when you're doing GCSE, this is the sort of question that they might ask you. They might ask you for directions or to explain where something is. And what we teach our GCSE students to make them sound more French and genuine are these things called fillers. They're really fun to say. So French people use fillers all the time, just like we do. If you ask, if I ask one of you a question now, you go, oh, yeah, think. And it's exactly the same in French, but they've got different ones. So after me, everyone, this is our first one. It means like, yeah, like, and it goes, bon, bon, I love it. Bon, 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 bon. Another good one is, let's, hmm, let's see. So they go, voyons, 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 voyons. And then um is like ooh, <laughs> and then we've got our other two. So these are all fillers. Learn these today. They're in your vocab and they're memorized. They're really good to use to make your French more authentic and make it pop. Hello, mi petit. We've looked at some grammar then. We've matched up some vocab. Let's get learning these key words known as prepositions, which means the words that where to, to explain where something is, like in front of, behind, next to. On y va, mi petit. Allô mes petits, donc maintenant on va apprendre le nouveau vocabulaire, il faut écouter moi, il faut répéter après moi les petits, let's go Allô mes petits, so we start with this question, we're going to ask people where these things are, donc après moi tu le mot, excusez-moi, 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 monsieur, monsieur, madame, Madame, mademoiselle, mademoiselle. So whenever you got like the S and the E, it's like a Z sound. Mademoiselle, mademoiselle, monsieur, madame, mademoiselle, monsieur, madame, mademoiselle. Excusez-moi, monsieur, madame, mademoiselle. And remember, this means where, and this is our verb of the day, is U-E, U-E. U, 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 E. And this means where are U, son. U, son. U, E, U, son. U, E, U, son. And then we just need to add our place. So, U, E, le café. U, E, le son commercial. U, E, le château. U, E, le cinéma. U, E, l'hôtel. U E U E U E l'église. U E la mosquée. U E le parc. U E le restaurant. U E le restaurant. U sont. U sont. U sont les magasins. U sont. U sont. U sont les magasins. U sont. U sont. U sont les musées. U sont, U sont, U sont les musées. Si vu, si vu, si vu plaît. Si vu plaît, si vu plaît. U et si vu plaît. Alors, so guys, we now have to ask where something is. Let's go through our key prepositions saying where things are. Et voilà, donc, c'est, ce sont, c'est, ce sont, c'est, ce sont, des vents, des vents. Des vents, des vents, des vents, des vents, des vents. Derrière, derrière, c'est derrière, ce sont derrière. You can also use this as a word for your bottom. Derrière, derrière, des vents, des vents, des vents, derrière, derrière. Danse, danse. Dans, 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 entre, 
entre, en, en, entre, danse, danse, entre, 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 sœur, 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 su, 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 sœur, su, sœur, su, sœur, su, sœur, su, sœur, su, en face, en face, en face de. En face de, en face de. À côté de. À côté de. À côté de, à côté de. En face, en face, en face de. À côté de. À droite de. À droite de. Doit, 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 à droite de. Doit, 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 à droite de. À gauche de. À gauche de. À, 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 à gauche de. À droite, à droite, à droite de. À droite, à droite, à droite de. À gauche de, à gauche de. À, 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 à gauche de. C'est près de, c'est près de, c'est près de, c'est près de. Always love this word, you say in your nose. C'est loin de, c'est loin de, loin, 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 c'est loin de, c'est loin de, c'est près de. C'est près de, c'est loin de, c'est loin, c'est loin, c'est loin de. Alors mes petits, so guys, I've mixed up some of our vocabulary here. You've had a little go at it. What you might want to do before having a go at this sab and move on is you might want to look back and just practice that vocabulary some more. Rewind the video, make sure you know those words and then come back to this. If you think you're ready for a challenge, Take it on guys, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Vous avez 36 secondes. Les mots en bleu vont disparaître. Il faut dire anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français, rapidement. Par exemple, where is, u, e, where are, u, sont. Excuse me sir, excusez-moi monsieur, please, s'il vous plaît. I'm not sure, je ne suis pas sûr. Voilà, donc, il faut dire français, anglais, rapidement. All right guys, put your vocab away, don't. You may think about looking at it, I know what you're thinking, Liz. And then, put me on pause, see if you know all 15 of these words when you think you're up for the challenge. Restart the video, I'll count you down, and these words in blue are going to start disappearing. Bon courage, mes petits, pause me now. On y va, préparez-vous. Hello, mes petits, you're right, guys, you think you're ready for this? Let's say, as this is so tough when you just seen this language, 12 is the line of survival, la ligne de démarcation. If you get past that, you've done all right. All right, good luck everyone. En commençant, 3, 2, 1, allez. First column's gone now. Allez, allez, allez. And second column's almost gone. Que c'est rapide. On y va, on y va, on y va. You need to get past 12. Et toi, deux, un. Et c'est fini, tout le monde. Hello, all right, guys. If you got past 12, I think you've done exceptionally well there. If you struggle with that, go back and watch the vocab a bit more and then come back to this. If you did a right on that, prepare for our next challenge. Et voilà, c'est exactement la même chose. Cette fois, le vocabulaire, c'est dans le bon ordre. Donc, c'est 1, 2, 3, etc. Il ne faut pas chercher pour la bonne réponse. Mais, vous avez seulement la première lettre. Donc, uh, number 1, where is U, A? Number 2, where are U, sont? Excuse me, sir. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Please, s'il vous plaît. I'm not sure. Je ne suis pas sûr. Voilà, c'est ça. Prepare yourselves, guys. Vous avez 36 secondes. Put me on pause now and you're ready for the challenge. Restart the video and I will count you down. Allez, bon courage. 
Hello mes petits, if you're listening to me now, you ready for this, let's see what you've got, your time starts in 3, 2, 1, hey. First column is gone, allez mes petits, va 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 Et 10 secondes. Et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. C'est fini, tu le monde. Alright, guys. Bonne informe, mes petits. If you got to the end of this, you've done extremely well. I'm going to put you to the test. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys. So, for this next part, you will need to use the vocab because your French will be tested, but it's a bit of a brain teaser. Je vais expliquer en français. Alors, mes petits, donc, on the second page of your sheet today, you've got this funny little map and a text above it. This is what we're looking at now. So have a little look at this. On the slides, I'm going to go through each activity, mais je vais expliquer les activités en français. Donc, écoutez-moi bien. Alors, activité 1, c'est ici, oups, je savais, des questions en français ici, mes petits, tu vois? Et ici, vous avez un texte, c'est un mec qui s'appelle Karim, qui parle de sa ville en France. Donc, ce qu'il faut faire, il faut répondre aux questions en anglais, mes petits, en anglais. Donc, je vous donne un exemple. What is in between the castle and the leisure center? So I can use my vocab to help me. I need to look up the word for in between, which is entre the castle and the leisure center. How do we say those two words? So we'll read it together. Bonjour, je m'appelle Karim. J'habite dans une petite ville qui s'appelle Bordonnais. Bordonnais est dans le sud-est de la France, the southeast of France. Dans ma ville, il y a beaucoup de magasins et de cafés. In my town, there's lots of shops and cafes. Okay, it's not giving us the answer yet. The answers start from here. Je veux décrire la rue principale. I'll describe to you the high street. Okay, so let's have a look. Entre le château, entre le château et le centre sportif, il y a le cinéma. So what's in between the castle and the leisure center? So in between the castle and the leisure center, there is le cinéma. So I'll put cinema here. Voilà. Répondez aux questions en anglais. Ça, c'est activité 1. Et voilà. C'est la partie compliquée. Alors, après avoir lu le texte, après avoir répondu aux questions, vous avez la carte ici. Now, we learned this last lesson. Endroit means place. I told you to write it down if you didn't know that word because you're going to see it a lot in the next four years. Endroit means place. I've got the castle here. And then all the other places have been blanked out. On this line, you need to write what place in town it is. How do you know? You've got to read the text again. So remember we got to here. I'll describe to you the main street. Between le château et le centre sportif, il y a le cinéma. So if the chateau is here, and in between the castle and the sports centre is the cinema, one of these is the cinema, one of these is the sports centre, which is which. And then with that, you need to work out all the other places in town if you can. Voila, it's going to be tough. Right, guys, that's your next task. The extra challenge is down here. It's a bit of a silly one. Where are the classrooms in Glenfawn? I've given you some classrooms and I've asked where Nigel is as well. You can be as inventive as you want about that. You need to find out where these classrooms are. Give a description. So it'll say like, where is the canteen? And you need to say next to the hall or next to Mr. Hume or something like that. Voila, I've just explained this guys on the previous slide. This is our extra challenge. Tell me where these things are. Give me some details. The first one says, love this, where is Mr. Ennis's classroom? Tell me, next to Miss Maguire's classroom, uh, next to the library. You need to put it into one sentence that is extra challenge only. Hello, mes petits. You have 10 minutes to get on with this today. After 10 minutes, restart me and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Alors, right guys, if you listen to me now, 
you've done your best at this and you're ready for the answers this is quite a challenge for you today let's break it down and see what you've got so we did the first one together what is in between the castle and the leisure center we found it here entre is our keyword for in between le château et le sens sportif il y a le cinéma donc la réponse c'est cinéma alors what is opposite the castle en face du château so think of this as opposite if you're facing someone your face is looking at their face you're opposite them en face du château il y a le marché which is the market alors what is next to the market is our next line let's change color à côté du marché il y a la piscine voilà c'est this is a swimming pool and then number four gets un peu plus compliqué what is in between the pool and the supermarket? Entre le piscine et le supermarché, il y a le parc. So it's the park that's in between those two buildings. Then what is near the supermarket? Let's go back to yellow. Près du supermarché, il y a la plage, which is the beach. And then finally, j'adore aller à la plage. C'est cool. Finally, what is behind the leisure center? Derrière is our word for behind. Derrière le marché. Il y a l'hôpital énorme. We haven't learned this word, but could you work out what place in town this was? Sure you can. It is the hospital. Voilà. So, give yourself a mark out of six for this. Now, this was to help you break down our next activity a little bit, qui était beaucoup plus difficile. Alors, so guys, with this text, you were meant to complete the map with where everything is. Let's have a little look. Et voilà, so this is what you should have. So we've got our top row. It goes castle, cinema, um, sports centre. So one mark for cinema, one mark for centre loisir or a gym or whatever. Then we have the beach over here. Then we have the supermarket, the Spanish one. And then we've got the park. And then we've got the swimming pool. Then we've got the market here. Et derrière le marché, il y a... We got l'hôpital, et voilà, dans un, give yourself a mark for that as well, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, actually a mark out of 10 for me guys, give yourself a mark out of 10 there, well done if you completed our magic street. Hey, these are, these are a bit open-ended, there can be lots of answers for these, but well done if you got into our extra challenge, me petit. Right guys, we have smashed through the objects of today. You need to know these prepositions. They're all the words today, like on top of, underneath, next to. You need to know these off by heart. So get your planners out. Et voilà, les devoirs is homework too. So next lesson, we're going to look at some directions as well, which is where some of these go in. This is a daily test. You've seen daily tests before. We've got some absolutely key things. Every single year seven French student needs to know these eight words because giving directions is so important. So learn them, learn them, learn them, revise them. Then I want you to cover up this whole box. Cover it up with something. Put your book over it or something. And then over here, I want you to test yourself. How well do you know these eight words? Once you've given it your best, look at what you covered up and mark your work. What did you get right? What did you get wrong? Then cover them both up. That's not really words. Cover them both up and then test yourself again and again and again and again until all eight of these are bing in your long term memory and you're ready. Right, I've made a right mess of this sheet. Then what I want you to do is over here is very similar to the activity we've just done, but I've changed all the shops around, you see. So I've done different shops in different places. So you need to complete this map of the high street. And then this is about directions. Next lesson, we'll get onto this and it tells you how to move your directions. I almost forgot, don't forget your 15 minutes on Memorize. You've got to know our directions. Language is so important. So guys, that's homework for next time. Bon for me pity. Well done today. I hope you enjoyed it today. I hope you like working that street out. I hope you got the hang of that. Merci tout le monde. I'll see you next week. Merci. Au revoir.